In today's video, we will see how we can create income and expense tracker in Excel. This tracker will be fully automated and we will be using hardly any formulas. You can use this tracker for personal as well as office use. Hi, my name is Vijay and you are watching Office Mom. Let's start the video without any details. This is an income and expense tracker which I have created in advance. Here are a few things like month, date, day, income details along with amount. In the right hand side, we have got expenses, month, date, day, expense details along with amount. Whenever we will update our income and expense data, the things will be updated on top also. I'll do one entry over here. I'll select month from the drop down. We will have to insert the date manually and the day will be updated automatically. Currently, our income is 163000. I'll put a figure over here, 800 and total income got 163800. I'll do some entry in expenses also. Currently, our expenses are 158400. I'll add another 600 rupees over here and it became 159000. Even the total profit and total loss will be changed. Currently, it's showing profit. I'll do some entry over here in expenses and it got changed. Earlier it was showing profit, now it's showing loss. On the right hand side, we have got some slicers through which we can check monthly income, monthly expenses, daily income and daily expenses. Let's start creating a new tracker now. I'll open a new Excel file. We will start our formatting from B5, serial number, month, date, day, income details, total amount. I'll adjust the column size. I'll select this. We'll put borders. We'll press Ctrl T. Over here, we have got my table has headers. We will click over here and we'll do OK. I'll go over here and we'll select the desired color. We'll go on top and we'll remove the filter button. We'll take this in left side. We'll select the whole sheet and we'll change the font style. We will select our table and we'll copy it. Control C or Command C and we'll paste it over here. We'll go in table tab and we'll remove filter buttons. We will increase the row size. We'll delete first two rows. We'll go in view and we'll remove the grid lines. We will click on second table. We'll go in table tab and we'll change the table color. We will go in insert, illustrations, shapes and we will select a desired shape and we'll put it over here. We'll go in shape fill and we'll select a color. We'll go in shape fill once again and we'll make it dark. Okay. We'll double click on the shape and we'll type income and expense tracker 2023. I'll go in home. We'll take this in center. We'll change the font style and we'll increase the font size. We will click on the shape. We'll right click the mouse, format shape. We will click in the center, shadow, and we will give it a black shadow. We'll remove the edges, shape format, no outline. We'll adjust the size. We'll go in insert once again, illustrations, shapes, and we will select a desired shape. We'll put it over here and we'll remove the outlines, means no outline. We will right click the mouse, format shape. We will come in the center and we'll give it a shadow. We'll go in text options. We'll go in center and we'll give a shadow to our text also. We will close this. We will press control and we'll drag the shape. We will drag once again and we will drag it one more time. We will adjust it. We will go in insert once again, illustrations, icons. We will search money. I'll select this for income. I'll come down. I'll select this also. We'll delete this and look for graph. I'll select this graph. We'll come down and we'll select this graph too. Insert. We'll close this, we'll click outside, we'll drag this, 
we'll press control and we will select all we'll right click the mouse format object we will come in the center and we'll give it a shadow we'll close this now we will change color of our icons we will click over here we'll go in graphic format and from here we will change the color now we will position over here for income this is for expense this is for total profit and this is for total loss we will go in insert illustrations shapes and we'll select a rectangular shape over here we'll double click on the shape and we'll type total income we'll double click on the shape and we'll be diverted to format shape we will go in text options we'll go in center and we'll give it a shadow we will go in home we'll take this in center and in mid we'll increase the font size we will go in shape format shape fill no fill shape outline no outline we will press control and we'll drag this we'll drag over here also and we'll drag one more time this will be our total expenses this will be total profit i'll close this this will be total loss i'll click over here and we'll take all the things in center now we will do some entries over here in case you will have to do some new entry you will have to click over here and we'll insert next number means next serial number and the table will be added automatically i'll delete this month we will create drop down for month we will go in data data validation list and over here we will type name of the months manually and we will do okay we will drag this till end we will copy this and we will paste over here so the drop downs got created date we will select this we will press control and we will select this also we will right click the mouse we will go in format cells date and we will select a desired date format okay we will come over here in day and we will insert formula for day and the formula will be plus or equal to text bracket open we will select our date comma double inverted comma d d d double inverted comma close bracket close and we will hit enter we will click on the first day we will insert criteria of if just behind text if bracket open date is equal to 0 comma double inverted comma twice comma we will come in the end we'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter now we will insert some month and date over here we will have to insert the dates manually we will do the same thing over here we will insert serial number we'll select this and we'll take all the things in center i'll drag this till end month our drop down is ready i'll drag this we will insert couple of dates manually beta i'll copy this and paste it over here day the formula will be plus or equal to text bracket open we will select the date comma double inverted comma d d d double inverted comma close bracket close and we will hit enter we will insert criteria of if just behind text if bracket open date is equal to 0 comma double inverted comma twice comma we will come in the end we'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter we will insert few income details over here salary rent bank interest we will insert few amount over here we will select this we'll press control and we'll select this also we'll right click the mouse we'll go in format cells number we will remove decimal places and we'll use thousand separator we'll do okay rent 5000 bank interest 
2000. Over here we will insert some expense details, clothes, car service, car insurance. We will put the amount of expense. We will insert one more tab or sheet. We will click over here. We will type income, expense, profit, loss. We will select this and we will create borders. We will take this in center. We will insert formula for income plus sum bracket open. We will come in sheet 1 and we will select from top to bottom. We will close the bracket and we will hit enter. Expense plus or equal to sum bracket open. We will come in sheet 1. We will select total of our expenses from top to bottom. We will close the bracket and we will hit enter. Now we have to insert the formula for profit and loss. The formula for profit will be plus or equal to if bracket open income is greater than expense comma income minus expense comma zero we will close the bracket and we'll hit enter loss formula for loss will be plus or equal to if bracket open income is less than expense comma expense minus income comma zero we will close the bracket and we'll hit enter now whenever we will update this sheet it will get updated over here also currently our income is 17000 expense is 9000 profit is 8000 and loss is zero i'll come over here in sheet one and will increase some expenses bike insurance i'll put a random figure over here 12000 and we will hit enter. We will go in sheet 2. Earlier it was showing profit. Now it is showing loss. We will come in sheet 1. We will double click on the shape. We will go to formula bar. And we will insert one formula. Plus or equal to. We will come in sheet 2. And we will click over here. Means we will select income. And we will hit enter. We will take this in right side. And we will take it down. We will increase the font size and we will change the font color. We will come in sheet 2, we will select all, we will go in home and we will select icon of rupee. We will remove decimal places, we will click over here on drop down, we will go down and we will select rupee symbol. We will do ok. We will come in sheet 1. Now total income is showing along with the icon. We'll double click on the shape. We'll go to formula bar plus or equal to. We'll go in sheet 2. We'll select the expenses and we'll hit enter. We'll take this in right side and in the bottom. We'll change the font color and we'll increase the font size. We will do same thing for profit and loss also. We'll double click over here. We'll go in formula bar plus or equal to. We'll go in sheet 2. We'll select the profit and we'll hit enter. We will take this in right side and we will take it down. We will change the font color, we will increase the font size. For total loss also we will have to do the same thing. We will double click on the shape, we will go in formula bar plus or equal to sheet 2. We will select loss from here and we will hit enter. We will take this in right side and we will take in the bottom. We will change the font color, we will increase the font size. Now whenever we will update this sheet, it will get updated over here also. I will do some entry over here. Currently it is showing loss of 4000. I will put income as 5000. So total loss is 0 now and the profit is 1000. I will insert a date over here and we will add expense as 1000. So total profit is 0 and total loss is also 0. Total income is 22000 and total expense is 22000. We will click over here in our first table. We will go in insert and we will select slicer from here. We will select month and we will do ok. We will click on the slicer and we will make columns as 4. We will reduce the size or we will manage the size. We will take it over here. 
will go on top and will change the color of slicer. We will right click the mouse on the slicer, slicer setting, caption, we will change the name, it will be monthly income. Ok, now we will click on our second table, we will go in insert, slicer and we will select the month, we will do ok. So our slicer got inserted over here, we will go on top in columns and we will do it for. We will adjust the size and we will put it over here. We will click on the slicer, right click the mouse, slicer setting. We will change this. This will be monthly expenses. We will do ok. We will go on top and we will change the color of slicer. From here we can select the monthly income. When I will select April, we are able to see the income of April, May. This is the income of May. In case I want to see the income of both the months, I'll select both the things and all the things are visible over here. If I select all, even the blank cells are visible. Same for the monthly expenses. I'll select April and total expenses of April are visible. We will insert two more slicers. We'll click over here in first table. We'll go in insert, slicer and we'll select day. So the slicer for day got inserted over here. We will go on top, columns, we will do it too. We will put it over here. We will go in slicer style and we will change the color. We will right click the mouse, slicer setting, caption. We will change the name, income, bracket, day. We will close the bracket and we will do OK. Now we will click in the second table. We will go in insert, slicer. And we will select day from here. OK. We will go on top and we will do columns as 2. We will adjust our slicer. We will take it over here. We will remove the filters. We will adjust the size of slicer. We will click on the slicer. We will go in slicer tab and we will change the color. In case we want to check the expense day wise, it can be checked from here. I will close the filters. Just one thing to highlight, these things means the income total expenses will not be managed through slicers. In case you want to manage this, you will have to delete all and you will have to put slicers over here. So this sheet is ready now, I will provide the link of this sheet in description box, in case you want to download, you can. I am sure you must have loved the video, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe, see you soon with a new topic till then, bye bye.